So I've been having this craving for the bacon cheese fries, which I get at Outback Steakhouse. Um, so I made my own version, and I looked up the calories for Outback, and it's like 2,000 calories for the bacon cheese fries. So I'm going to show you how to make yours for much, much less, for only 250 calories. So the first thing you need is straight cut fries or crinkle cut. Look for the packages. These are 120 calories for three ounces. Then you're gonna need, these are Oscar Mayer Real Bacon Bits. You will need two tablespoons of that. And one third cup of Weight Watchers cheese, which is two points and it's 80 calories. So if you can find another cheese that's around that calories, then it should be around two points. You're also going to need a little bit of garlic powder, some salt, and some black pepper. And you're also going to need some canola or Pam to spray your pan with. So this is one serving of the fries, and I just lay them on there on a um, greased, well, the Pam. You spray the Pam on the tin foil, and then throw your fries on top, and then we're going to stick these in the oven. So you're going to bake them in the oven at 450 for about 8 minutes and then you're going to take them out and you're going to put some salt, some garlic powder and some black pepper and just sprinkle it on nicely and then you're going to take your cheese, one third cup and then you'll also take the bacon bits and throw them on top and then we're going to put it back in the oven for about 8 more minutes. Okay, so they've baked for eight minutes, and look at them. The cheese is melty. The bacon bits get really crispy. And by the way, you need two tablespoons of the bacon bits, the real bacon bits, not the fake imitation kind. So that's what they look like when they're done. And now I've just transferred them onto a plate, and I'll probably put a little bit of like light ranch on the side, just like they have it out back. These are so delicious, they will satisfy your craving. I only make one serving at a time because, you know, if you make more than one, you can get into trouble because these are so good. So if you don't bake them, you're not going to, you know, it's, it's less likely you're going to go back into the freezer and make a whole other batch of them. So this is six points. They are absolutely delicious. I'll give you a close-up. There you go. So um, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please give me the thumbs up if you did like this recipe. Share it with a friend. Like me on Facebook. And always subscribe. I will be seeing you guys soon. I hope you enjoy.